Vehicle control. Safe operation of a heavy vehicle requires special skills in the following areas. Accelerating. Steering. Reversing. Gear shifting. Braking. Most of these skills are required in virtually every driving situation, whether it be turning, approaching an intersection, driving down a hill or along a freeway. Master these skills and you are on your way to becoming a good driver. Remember, whatever vehicle you drive, all its handling characteristics are affected by the load you carry, including passengers. What to look for? In heavy vehicles you have the advantage of being higher, so you can see further down the road than the driver of a smaller vehicle. However, the height of your vehicle can also be a problem. Know how high your vehicle is and watch for low bridges, telephone and electricity wires, or any low overhanging objects. Traffic Watch for cars entering the road in front, changing lanes or turning. Look for the indicators and brake lights of other vehicles or their unexpected movements. Keep a special watch for pedestrians crossing the road ahead. Be prepared to adjust your speed to avoid unexpected hazards. Road conditions Watch for curves, merging lanes, potholes, slippery surfaces and loose sand. Always try to be aware of the road surface conditions and adjust your driving technique according to the conditions. Check for road signs and traffic signals. If a traffic light has been green for a long time, slow down and prepare to stop in case it changes to amber, then red before you get to it. At some intersections in Dubai the green light will start flashing to warn you that it is about to change to amber. Prepare to stop as soon as you see this happening. Using your mirrors. Use all mirrors to check traffic beside and behind you. Glance in your mirrors often. When you are looking in a mirror, you are not looking ahead. Do not glance in mirrors for more than one second at a time. When you are traveling at 60 km per hour, you will have traveled nearly 17 meters in one second. At 90 km per hour, you will travel 25 meters in one second. So glance quickly at all mirrors and back at the road ahead. Make sure that you understand what you see in your mirrors. Use your mirrors to keep a check on your tires. Especially watch out for tire fires. You can use mirrors to check on your trailer. Also use the mirrors to check that your trailer is straight behind you, not drifting to one side. What to watch out for when reversing. Because you cannot see what is directly behind you, reversing is risky. If you reverse, make sure you do the following. Inspect your path. Check your line of travel before you begin. Make sure the road or surface will support the vehicle. Check your clearance. Check for low, overhanging objects. Reverse slowly. This way you can easily correct steering errors and stop quickly. Reverse and turn to driver's side.
Because you see more in the left mirror than the right mirror, it is safer to reverse in by reversing to the left. Driver's side, where you can see more. Reverse and turn to the driver's side wherever you can. When turning towards the driver's side, you can watch the rear of your vehicle out the side window and in the left mirror. You cannot see as much in the right mirror. With a box trailer, you will see nothing but the front right corner of the trailer in the right mirror. Use a person to help guide you. You cannot see directly behind your vehicle. There are other blind spots. So use a person to guide you wherever you can. The guiding person should stand where they get the clearest view of your vehicle and can signal to you. You probably will not be able to hear your guide properly, so work out some hand signals for communication before you start. A guide can see your blind spots and guide you through them. To drive safely, you need space all around your vehicle. Space gives you time to stop. Space gives you time to check your mirror and make a lane change. Manage your space all the time. Changing lanes. If you want to return to your lane after overtaking another vehicle, the extra length of your heavy vehicle makes it hard to judge whether you can change lanes safely. You should follow these tips. One when in doubt, leave plenty of space and time. Two, use your mirrors to check that you can see the vehicle behind you before moving back into your original lane. Drive in the center of your lane. To keep a margin of safety on both sides of your vehicle, drive in the center of your lane. Space above your vehicle. Know the height of your vehicle and your load. Be cautious when going under trees, bridges, overhead signs, traffic lights, power lines, and other wires. Space for turns. Space around a heavy vehicle is very important for turns. Because of cutting in, heavy vehicles often sideswipe other vehicles and objects during turns. Left turns. Make sure your vehicle is close enough to the middle of the intersection before you start to turn to allow for the rear of your vehicle's cut in. The back of your vehicle could hit cars waiting at the intersection. The longer your vehicle, the more you have to allow for cut in. Two left turning lanes. If there are two left turning lanes, always start your turn so you are in the left turning lane nearest to the right of the road. Check your right mirror for cars overtaking on your right side, which may turn to the left in front of you. Use your left mirror to check for traffic that might overtake on your left. Leaving space when turning across intersections. You need to allow for the size and weight of your vehicle when you turn. Remember, your acceleration is slower and you need a large amount of space. You must have a large gap in traffic to turn into a new street. If your vehicle is loaded, it will be slower than when it is empty. You need to judge a gap in the traffic that is big enough for you. You need to get all of your vehicles safely through the intersection.